What's going on everybody? It's your man Cleveland Terry and this is probably going to be the fastest video I've ever done because we're going to talk about one specific thing. The DJM S9 and the ability to use your S9 on one computer without the need for an additional audio card. Let's talk about it now. Okay, so for all of you that have been watching my OBS tutorials, the initial tutorial was based upon the S9 and also a secondary computer. So I plugged that in, got everything going the exact way I wanted to. And a lot of people were asking me, well, how do you do it on one computer? Every time I plug in my one computer, I get the control tone. What's going on? How do I fix that? I said, you know, just use a secondary sound card. I don't know if it's possible. So then I went ahead and plugged in my two USBs on that main computer that I use for DJing. And sure enough, I got the tone too. So I just assumed, you know what? You need a second sound card, let it go. And then a person uh, with a completely different situation was messaging me on Instagram. And he mentioned in Rekordbox, he found a solution. He could go into Rekordbox and actually change the audio source within Rekordbox. And I said, you can't do that in Serato. He goes, nope, you can't do it in Serato. So it got me thinking, if you can change the audio source in Rekordbox, maybe there's an audio source in the OBS system that I just overlooked. So then I plugged in my S9 using the two USBs. I went into my sources under the S9, double click that, it brought up the available audio input sources. Uh, at that point, I noticed that there were two S9 sources. So I clicked the other one and sure enough, I got the tone sound. The obvious thing to do is to click on the other one. <laughs> uh, but a lot of people are gonna go, well, I'm getting the tone sound automatically. So what do I do then? There's actually an easy solution. If you hear a tone and you're not sure what's going on, go into the audio settings located right here and turn on your monitor so you can hear what's going on. So you turn on your monitor and then you can hear that. Obviously, music's playing. Tone arm's still going because it's... So instead, now that you have this monitoring, go back to your audio and then change the device and you should have two S9s here. Pick the one that's not making the tone and problem solved on the same computer. That should solve your problem. You can mix just using your S9 on the same computer. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Now, of course, there's a lot of other reasons why you should still opt for a secondary computer. Just using the amount of resources that OBS takes versus uh, Serato, uh, you might wanna still use a secondary computer because you're gonna get glitches and slowdowns and video hangs. So this is a way to kind of curb that. I wanna qualify that because the Pioneer mixers are the ones that are giving you the audio pass-through. I believe the DDJ-1000 behind me gives you the pass-through. I believe the Rain 72 gives you the pass-through. Based upon what I saw in their settings, it looks like there is an audio pass-through on the Rain 72. I don't see that on the Rain 70. Uh, all I'm getting is a tone, and I found no way to switch that tone off. It is coming from the left deck. Left deck is giving me the tone sound and I haven't found a way to turn that off yet. Even though both audio cards are showing, I still can't find out what's going on with that. I want to thank Jose El Salgado because he was the one that triggered my brain as he was talking about changing the audio in record box and that's what triggered it for me and Serato. So thank you buddy. For everybody else, hopefully this helps you. I know that some people for some reason aren't seeing the secondary S9 sound card. I have now tried on two different computers to duplicate the lack of that secondary S9. I use it on a Catalina MacBook Pro 16. I use it on a 2012 MacBook Pro Retina with the USBs. I have tried three different hubs, one powered, one USB-C hub, and one just standard USB that were both non-powered, and I've been getting the same thing. I can still see both S9s, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Some people I know haven't updated their firmware for their S9s, so that might also be causing the issue. You have firmware issues, uh, you have driver updates. If you guys aren't updating those, that may be a reason why you're not seeing the secondary S9. All right, guys, if you found what I said here useful, hit that like button. If you found what I said here really useful, hit that subscribe button. Uh, follow me on the Instagrams and the Twitters right there. Guys, always a pleasure, but I'm talking to you later. We'll talk soon. Peace.